Hey guys, it's Ali, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be trying out the new Subway map. So I have seen it before, but I just kind of want to go through what it looks like and stuff. So this is the spawn point, and there's this whole kind of like back area here. Um, it's pretty simple, just like some crates and like, I don't know what these are called, like little half wall things. Um, and yeah, there's like some more spawn points. So it looks like right over here. I mean, it's pretty like simple, just like one kind of like dim light. Um, and then over here is like the main area. So I guess we'll go there. So it looks like there's gonna be a lot of like pretty close and like confined action because I mean, the other team is gonna spawn over there on like the other side and your team's gonna spawn here. So like you can go across like the tracks to the other side, but I'm assuming that mostly like your team's gonna stay on like your side and just like shoot across the tracks and stuff. But yeah, it's like a pretty simple design. Let's see, little posters, some just like random little things. I mean, it looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, Got a little, little dude over here. Not sure what he is, but this little like hidden thing. And yeah, you do, you do die from the, subway you know whenever it whenever it comes I'm just gonna wait here and yeah I mean I assumed that you did which is actually really annoying because when you're crossing these tracks you have to be super careful I want to demonstrate this and when I actually want to <laughs> there's no subway oh 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 okay yeah so you die if you get caught in the subway um which I mean makes sense it's just like the bus and metro so yeah I guess this kind of reminds me of a smaller metro because you do have like the middle area with like the bus or the subway train and you kind of spawn on either side so I guess it's like a more confined metro I mean I think it, it looks pretty cool I'm not sure how gameplay will actually be on it because I feel like it's gonna be really close quarters and I feel like that can be kind of stressful but we shall see. I mean, I'm gonna play on it in a little bit here. Um, but yeah, you can also go up top onto these little things. I don't know what they're called. And it goes like all the way around, which is cool. And if you don't wanna get to them from up there, if you go back to by where the spawns were, there's like this little back area here and it has a ladder. It's gonna jump in here and go up the ladder. And boom, you are, what? Oh wow, that was, that was great. Okay, let's do that again. And boom, <laughs> you are onto these things. So I can see that as being kind of nice for when you have like a sniper or something that you can snipe people with from far away. So yeah, I mean, overall, I think that my first impression of this map is like, it's pretty good. I have a feeling it won't be my favorite just because I feel like it could get really annoying <laughs> with that. Um, those two subways that like, they actually like appear pretty frequently. So if you want to cross the tracks, like I would be very careful. I'm pretty sure as far as I know, there is no other way to get to the other side except for crossing the tracks. I don't know. I don't think that there are any hidden passageways. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that there are. I do want to get some actual gameplay though on this map and see how it plays with other people. So I'm going to go do that. Hopefully I get it. <laughs> Okay guys, the moment is finally here. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I joined this game so late. I've been trying to get this map for like ages and I finally get it and the game's almost over, nice. Okay, but at least I can get like a little bit, oh my god, why am I liking so hard? A little bit of a feel for how it plays on this map. Okay, that didn't last long at all. Hopefully I can get it again. If not, this is my short little impression of it. I feel like it's kind of hectic. There's just like a bunch of people in this big kind of main area. Let's see, I doubt I'm gonna get it again soon because just for some reason, I don't know, no one's voting for it first of all. Okay, so back to my VIP server because apparently no one wants to vote for Subway. I was reading a little bit up on it on the wiki and basically, so all the action's gonna happen right here as I kind of like assumed. So you can kind of go, they recommend to like sneak up through the ladder back here, up and onto these things up here. But I mean, you can do that. I feel like it would make you kind of an easier target because as soon as people see someone shooting from up there, like it's gonna be pretty easy to get you. But I mean, that's definitely an option. 
They also, I was reading on the wiki, it said this may be risky, but from the top floor, jump on top of the subway trains while they're moving and jump onto the enemy team. So I don't know, I guess you just like run up here and then wait for a train to come and jump on top of it. So like say, okay, let's see. Oh God. And then like jump over here. Oh, okay. I, I see that. That seems like a lot of work. Oh God. And yeah, kind of stressful, but I mean, that could actually be kind of cool. You could definitely do that. And apparently only the front of the trains do damage, so I'm going to test that out. I guess if you hit it from like the side or the back, you will not die, which is nice. Um, just don't stand in front of the moving train. So yeah, yeah, I just went to the side of it and I did not get damaged. Let's, I'm going to try that again. So yeah, see, I'm, I'm at the side of the train, not getting damaged, so that's actually kind of nice. You don't have to worry about just like ramming into the side and dying. The only way you can die is if you get hit from the front of the train. So that's a good like thing to know. Yeah, other than that, I would say just go to the middle. I guess you can try to get like high ground if you want to, but you don't have to. I feel like it might be easier just to stay down here, honestly. And unfortunately, there's no way that you can kind of like sneak across. I mean, well, maybe you could go back here and like kind of like sneak over, but yeah, that didn't work very well. Um, I feel like someone on the other team would notice you. I didn't really get a chance to play on it so with other players, so I haven't really gotten a good feel for the gameplay on it, but those are kind of like my tips I would assume would work from the little bit of time I've had playing on it. Um, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys did like it. Let me know what you think about the subway map, if you like it or not. I think, okay, out of 10, I would give it, I don't know, I'd give it like a 7. It's not bad, but it's not like my favorite map, you know? Maybe once I play on it more, my opinion will change. But that's kind of how I feel about it right now. So let me know what you guys think as well, and subscribe to my channel if you are not already, and give this video a thumbs up, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Okay, so I had to put this in. You guys told me to use the code Bloxy and to get some of the in-game currency, the like bucks. So I did that, and then I used that money to get a character crate, and look, it literally ended up being Ace Pilot. So I put it on for like a couple seconds, and I was like, okay, it feels weird. It feels wrong to not have my delinquent skin. So I changed back, but yeah, I finally got... The ace pilot i've been wanting to get it and i just like haven't from the character crates so yeah finally got it <laughs>